How's it going? I'm Eddie with Guitar Mastery Method, and I'm about to show you how this one exercise, when applied just five minutes a day, can guarantee quick results in cleaning up your chops so you can consider yourself a much better guitarist. I like to call this exercise the drunken spider walk. Now, it's a derivative of the regular spider walk, which you've probably seen a million times, that looks like this. and so on and so on. So that exercise has been done to death. It is a fantastic exercise and it's a great way to build muscles and the chops in all four of your fretting fingers. However, it does kind of teach you to move in a kind of linear fashion with your fingers. What the drunken spider walk does is completely throw a wrench in that. So instead of moving in a linear fashion, like with the regular spider walk, where we go starting on the first fret, one, two, three, four, we're gonna break up the order and we're gonna go one, three, two, four. So we're starting with our first finger playing the first fret, then our third finger playing the third fret, and our second finger playing the second fret, and our fourth finger, our pinky, playing the fourth fret. And this is all with alternate picking. So it's like down, up, down, up. And that's pretty much the long and short of the exercise. We just repeat that all the way up the strings and then we move up and we do kind of a descending motion going back down the strings and we essentially walk this up until we run out of frets. But before we get into that, it's really important to get that motion under your fingers. So my recommendation is if this is completely new to you, just start with the low E string and just get used to that one, three, two, four, and just repeat that a few times. By repeating that, you're slowly programming the muscle memory in your hands to adhere to that motion, right? And we're going to continue that as we go up the strings. So once you get comfortable with the low E string, then work your way up all the way to the high E string. Once we get that down, there's a second part you get to master, which is descending. So once we've made it all the way up here to the fourth fret of the high E string, we're going to shift our position up one fret, right? So we go from covering one, two, three, four to up here, two, three, four, five, right? And then what we do is starting with, we start with the uh, highest note, right? The fifth fret on the, on the high E string, and we're gonna play uh, what I'll do is instead of talking about the actual frets, I'll just classify the fingers. So remember how going up we did one, three, two, four in terms of the numbered fingers, right? One, two, three, four. One, three, two, four. So when we are coming down, we're going four, two, three, one. And with that pattern, we move our way back up the strings to the low E. So we're going four, two, three, one, four, two, three, one. Remember fingers, four, two, three, one. I have a feeling right now you're probably burning a hole through your screen right now with an evil stare because of what I just tasked you with playing. And I don't blame you, but just know that this comes from a place of love. This is some tough love your old pal Eddie has given you, okay? Trust me, this is for your own good and this definitely will clean up your chops and make you a much better guitar player because your hands are gonna be able to handle complex motions, right? Which is something you're going to experience sooner or later in your guitar journey. And that way, your fingers are already kind of pre-programmed and predisposed to playing those things, those more challenging things, much easier down the line. So what we're gonna have to do with this entire exercise is walk it all the way up until we run out of frets. And then once we make it to the highest fret, we're gonna walk our way back down till we reach the lowest fret. We gotta fill up five minutes after all, right? So however fast or slow you wanna do it, all it takes is five minutes, as I said. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk up with the exercise and just to show you what it looks like, and then I will walk 
down and I'm gonna be playing it to a metronome. So I'll give you also an advised starting uh, BPM, all right, is a good place for you to start so that you can slowly but surely get this exercise under your fingers. So I got my trusty metronome on my smartphone set to 60 beats per minute. So how I'm gonna play this is every time you hear a click, I'm gonna play a note on the guitar, a note of the drunken spider walk to match up with every click. So it'll essentially be one note per click. 60 BPM is a good starting point to just give you time between clicks to just orient yourself and figure out you know, what notes you need to play. And like I said earlier, starting with the low E string just to kind of get your hand revved up to the motion is a good place to start. Go ahead and try to play this with me. I'm gonna get the metronome going, I'm gonna give it four counts, and then I'm gonna go right into it, starting on the low E string, repeating that a couple times, then I'll signal when we're moving on to the next strings. Here we go. Two, three, four. Let's move on to the other strings. Moving up. stop right here. So that right there was a complete ascending and descending motion. That right there is essentially going to be repeated all the way up your fretboard till you run out of frets. Then once we get to the top fret, we're going to work our way down. So what I'm going to do is instead of going to the very top fret, because I realize you may or may not have a 22 fret guitar, maybe 24 frets, 21 frets. So I'm just going to start up here on the 15th fret as if we're moving down. Going to keep the same tempo, same 60 beats per minute, but remember we're starting down, right? So, or we're starting with descending. So we're going to start from the 15th fret on the high E string, work our way down, and then go down one fret, and then do the ascending pattern, working our way back up the strings. So, ready? Here we go. Two, three, four. Now I know 60 beats per minute with an exercise like this going one note per click is painfully slow. But like I said, that's just a kind of broad starting point for you to start with just to get this pattern under your fingers. Obviously, if at some point 60 BPM just feels way too slow and you're not really progressing because you've already mastered that motion, you can bump it up, let's say 10 BPM, start it from 70. Wherever you find that kind of point where it's just enough of a challenge for you to really you know, hone in and, and clean that uh, drunken spider walk pattern up, you can, uh, of course, bump it up in increments of five after that until you reach like a stupid speed, like, I don't know, 150 or something. The bottom line is when you apply this exercise for just five minutes a day, you're gonna start to see results very quickly. It's also just a great warm up to just keep your you know, hands nice and uh, greased. You know, Whenever I'm backstage for a show, oftentimes that's the go-to exercise that I do. For the longest time, it was the regular spider walk. And then when I discovered the drunken spider walk, I realized it really challenged my hands so much more. So I ended up just sticking with that. Now it's important that you add this exercise to your daily guitar practice regimen. It's also important that you have a daily guitar practice regimen. 
you don't currently have one, got something for you that you're going to need. A free practice session cheat sheet. What this will do is tell you exactly how to get the best results from your practice sessions in the least amount of time. So click here to claim a copy or check the link in the description box. And if you enjoyed this lesson, be sure to give it a like and let me know in the comments just how much the Drunken Spider Walk has helped your guitar playing or will help your guitar playing. Or if you got to just shake your fist at me and be like, darn you, Eddie, for showing me this, man. My hand really hurts, man. It's called growing pains, my friend. They will pass, I promise, and you will thank me later. I appreciate you hanging out with me today, and I hope you've enjoyed this lesson as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. I'm Eddie with Guitar Mastery Method, and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.